what is going on everybody we're back with another head head season game here for you guys uh this should be mondays and then a week from now i think i'm gonna go ahead and do the um auction block video i know a lot of you guys have been asking for i'm just kind of waiting for the team of the week mark team of the year market to correct itself there's like two of those players i might be looking at um and then i know that they're dropping today when this comes out they should be dropping super bowl content players i think there's going to be like six or eight cards some like super bowl legends and then like current super bowl players i think they're going to drop a peyton manning a greg olsen uh danny trevathan um i'm sure they'll probably drop a cam newton or something they're going to be dropping super bowl content players this week it's not going to be huge like a team of the week thing where they have like 22 something players but you should drop a few so i'm gonna let those come out and then let that correct the market again and then so hopefully next weekend um the market will be stabled where it needs to be and then we'll go ahead and spend i think i'm up to 1.5 million coins right now so should be able to go ahead and do all that and then see where we're going and then hopefully we'll be at 300 uh or 3,000 subs soon and then we'll be able to do a uh another pack opening video for you guys so we start out on offense first this game and we're moving our way down the field third and eight right there we hit jordy over the middle luckily he's able to hold on to it third and goal right here um, I didn't think he was going to bite down that fast, so I just decided to take my three. I I mean, I know I got away with that play um, as my phone goes off. Uh, so we take three. We do not get ball half. So if he scores a touchdown here and he takes up the whole rest of the half, we're not in good shape. So second and 12 right here. I think this is when I was still trying different um, blitzes. I've gone through. Um, you guys are going to see the end of this season and then um, – actually played this is the, oh god as we uh, just sit on that route right there I actually played a whole season this weekend um none of the games were close just went through undefeated putting up like 40 something points a game uh, i started running oh as we throw a dot right there i started running that mike scrape that got me like last week or two weeks ago that shit is just unfair you can just do so much with it and um people are finding out ways to stop the run in it so that definitely helps because it was kind of weak on the run at least to the right side of the field and I've just been absolutely eating with it. Um, got a couple kids in the top 50 with it that just had no answer for it. And, oh, it's pretty gross. We, I was able to just go through a whole season just smacking, smacking, smacking. A lot of quits, putting up like 40 plus points, and it was absolutely deadly. So third and 15 right here, he throws it into like quadruple coverage. We're able to slap it down. So fourth and 15, he uh, punts the ball. So we're up 10-0. He does get ball half. So if I can even put three on the board right here. I'd be happy as I try to get loose with Dre Archer. Oh, man. I should have double juke, maybe not spin. The spin just takes too slow to develop this year. So first and 10, I'm surveying, and uh, I'm not able to step up with Derek Carr. I thought I was going to be able to get out of there, but I wasn't sure. And I saw all the comments that you guys left for the quarterback, um, who I should get for quarterback as we throw a strike right there. Um, I think I've narrowed it down to, like, two, possibly. Um, I remember a lot when it came out, but I don't see a lot of people roll with him, but I haven't really heard bad reviews about that MVP Andy Dalton. Um, he's got decent speed and his stats are, his stats aren't bad. And, uh, for some reason I'm really intrigued and I think I would have a lot of fun playing with that Donovan McNabb. I think those are the two I've narrowed it down to. I just think, um, RG3 is cool. He's definitely fastest right there. He gets, I, I, I just don't know how he split how neither one of my deep blues converged on that they just kind of stayed and let him split and then uh oh yeah this is when i was still running nickel so i had no idea what i was doing on defense um but that donovan McNabb looks fun he's got nice speed and uh his throw on the run and i don't know i was always a donovan McNabb fat mcnab fan when he played for the eagles it's right there again i'm just holding on to the ball trying to step up and i'm unable to third and 15 right here i drop back i'm looking we throw an interception so i was up 17 to 0 and could possibly go into half up three, but I'm able to um, stall him out. So it's a seven-point game. I've kind of played stupid there towards the end. But those are the two quarterbacks I'm kind of looking at, and I'm sure if they drop. I know that Steve Young's supposed to come out, so that might make cards more cheaper once Super Bowl weekend gets here. I think they're going to drop a Peyton Manning. and um, So it's going to be interesting to see what quarterbacks come out and what that does to prices. But right here, fourth and one, he goes for it, and I'm able to stuff it up with my user. I think I was using Khalil Mack right there. Still the base elite one. Um, we were able to get in there and stuff that up because that wasn't looking too good for me. I was up 17-0 and I gave up 10 unanswered and he had ball, but I was able to get that fourth and one stop. I QB sneak it in. So we go back up by 14. We are almost approaching the fourth quarter. 
Uh, if I could just do what I did the first half, there's no reason for me to start getting cute here and do something crazy on defense as he chucks it up deep. And I have no idea how we get beat deep right there when Gilmore's in the deep blue. I think it was just more so the defenses I was playing, not the um, cards. It's right there. He just throw, He just got us with a nice floater. I think he uh, had a corner and a hitch route on the same, or a C route, whatever it was. Um, and it just sucked down the zone. Um, so, again, we're only find ourselves up seven. We have a whole quarter left to play. Uh, this is still when I was trying the big nickel strong on defense. I was trying some dime flat on defense. And when I go against big nickel strong and dime flat, that shit eats me alive. But for some reason, I don't know if I just if I'm doing the wrong setups, if I'm not doing it right or whatever. But I'm in completely chew clock mode right here. Third and four. You see the play clock is in the red. I've got chew clock on. Not snapping it until at least 10 seconds. I'm just trying to milk this thing out. If I can at least get three, I'm happy with it again. We throw a strike right there. Uh, Cooper holds onto the ball. We're at the two-minute warning. Inside the two-minute warning, again, first and goal. We find Jordy Nelson wide open, and I'm able to score that touchdown. So, again, we've kind of kept this two-possession lead. It's kind of kept him off our backs here. Him going for that fourth and one when I was able to get that easy touchdown, like, inside his 20 um, has really helped me because he's been striking. He's been firing for sure, um, but I've been able to keep the two-possession leads. Right here, I finally get dime flat set. I don't know what I was sending right there, but we finally get it set up. Right here, I think I'm in big nickel again. He just picks up the blitz, floats it, and oh my god. We're inside a minute, and this man is throwing floaters for his life right here. He still has all three timeouts. Again, I'm trying to run with it, and he floats us over the top again and gets it. He still has all three timeouts, so he can easily kick an onside kick, get this ball back and score. And even if he doesn't get the onside kick, if he stuffs me three runs in a row, um, he'll use all his timeouts, but he'll still have like... 25 to 30 seconds to make something happen so here comes the onside kick and uh he accidentally illegally touches it before it gets the rest of the way and then so all we need is one first down to end the game and that's exactly what we get with jordy we get the first down we get down and uh we end up running out all this timeout so here i'm just running out the clock trying to like do what i gotta do we stay in bounds right there and i end up ticking out the rest of the clock and i'm able to get this victory so the game was just i just made it so much closer than it needed to be playing dumb right there before half and then i got comfortable so i tried to do new things on defense and it just it didn't go well but we were able to get the win i think this is setting us up close for the playoffs um so we'll see how we go ahead and do on that so this should be monday's video again let me know what you think of the new super bowl player or players they should be dropping this week and um we'll see how all that goes i didn't even look at the pro bowl i totally forgot it was even on this weekend i didn't watch it so let me know if it was good i think team Irvin won so I picked the wrong thing for that I picked team Jerry on the coin up thing and I didn't do the other coin up thing because I don't play draft champions so let me know if you guys watched it was it entertaining did anybody ball out um what all happened with that so I appreciate it guys all the links are in the description hit the like button if you enjoyed subscribe if you have not already tell a friend like share favorite and as always deuces